I'm Vicky Donlan, um, catalogue manager at the British Museum and one of the curators of the Spotlight Loan Troy Beauty and Heroism, which is here at the McManus in the summer 2022. As object of the month, I've chosen this amphora or storage jar, um, which shows one of the perhaps best known and also most tragic episodes from the story of the Trojan War. It shows the moment when Greek hero Achilles is dragging the body of Trojan prince Hector around the tomb of Achilles' lover and friend Patroclus, who's died at the hands of Hector in battle. Part of the reason that the story of the Trojan War has endured for some 3,000 years is because it is packed with these kinds of uh, powerful and emotional episodes. The most famous version or telling of the story is that of the poet Homer, composed around 700 BC. And the rage of Achilles is the key theme of Homer's Iliad. Achilles' dragging of Hector really is a shocking act. It goes against all the conventions of, um, of Greek warfare. And in it, Achilles becomes almost a monster. He's driven to this shocking act by his rage and his grief at the death of his friend and lover. The killing of his beloved Patroclus is really doubly tragic because Patroclus was taking Achilles' own place in battle at a time when Achilles was refusing to fight due to a quarrel with uh, Greek king Agamemnon. This scene of dead heroes with Hector's body under the handle and the tomb itself is particularly apt for the use to which this pot was eventually put because although it was made in Athens, it was found in Italy at a place called Vulci in Etruria and it was almost certainly found in a tomb. The Etruscans greatly admired Greek pottery and they often placed uh, Greek pots into their tombs. A decorated fine quality amphora like this one would originally have been used by the Greeks and other cultures for banquets or, or feasting and the Etruscans arranged their tombs as though for a feast to continue in the, the underworld. The painter's gone slightly wrong in his uh, depiction of Achilles on this vase. If you look carefully, you can see that the head and upper body of Achilles appears to be behind the tomb, while his legs have been painted in front of it. The horses are better rendered. There's four of them. You can mainly see two heads, but with two further heads just seen behind, you can see four tails and four sets of both rear and forelegs. The painter's also effectively shown the body of Hector going underneath the handle, really using the space available on the pot to great effect, and also sort of uniting the two sides of the vase, which is actually um, relatively unusual on Greek pottery. They're often two separate scenes. This figure on the right of this scene seems to be gesturing towards the body of Hector. It's not entirely sure what this scene represents, but the most likely interpretation is that it's alluding to the Judgment of Paris, which is the episode right at the start of the Trojan War myth, which kicks off the, the whole series of events. This male figure would be Hermes, with his uh, traveller's hat and his rather distinctive boots. In the centre we have Athena, the goddess of war, wearing her distinctive snaky aegis. This figure is um, less certain, but might very well be Aphrodite, the, the goddess of love. Hermes would be bringing these two goddesses to Paris, the Trojan prince, for him to decide who is the most beautiful. They'll be joined by a third goddess, Hera, the queen of the gods. Paris will choose Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, because she bribes him with the, uh, the promise of marriage to Helen, the most beautiful woman in the world. When Paris chooses Aphrodite and goes to claim his prize, he offends Helen's existing husband, Menelaus, one of the Greek kings. And this is what starts the whole conflict between Greeks and Trojans and leads to the tragic consequences, including the deaths of the heroes shown on this vase and also ultimately the fall of Troy.